Hey bookworms, it's Jade from Bedtime Bookworm and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to tell you about some more series that I am currently reading. So in today's video I'm going to tell you about 16 more series that I'm in the middle of. I think currently reading is probably not the most accurate way to describe these series. A good chunk of these are ones that I've kind of put on hold until I finish reading other series that I'm more focused on, but some of them I am picking away at here or there. So the thing that unites all of the series in this video are that these are unfinished series. And that's why so many of them have kind of been put on pause for me, because I really enjoy binging series, like reading them close together. I just find that when I wait a year for the next book to come out, if I don't get to it right away, then it turns into two or three years. But even when I do get to it right away, that year gap between when I read the books kind of diminishes my enjoyment of the sequel. I just find that I enjoy things a lot more when they're still fresh in my mind, which is usually when I read them within like six months-ish. So that's something that I've been trying to actively work on is continue to read the following books in series within six months or so. I'm not always <laughs> successful in that, but that is something that I've been trying to do. And when you're in the middle of 33 series like I am, it's impossible to do that with all of the series. So I had to pick some to kind of put on the back burner. And for me, the way that I decided to do that is to put unfinished series on the back burners so that once they are finished I can go back and binge the rest of the series, probably start over in some of them if it's been too long. I know some people probably think it's ridiculous that I try so hard to not start unfinished series, but it's because they get added to the bottom of my series list and I'm just not able to like keep up with them in a timely manner because I'm in the middle of so many series. So I needed to limit myself somewhere and so I have actively made this decision to focus on completed series before moving on to my unfinished series. All right let's go ahead and get started. Like I said there's 16 series. I'm going to try and keep my thoughts on each of them pretty short and snappy. These aren't really in any sort of order. They are roughly in the order that I started reading them just because that's the order that my series spreadsheet is in. Okay the first series I'm going to talk about is Peace of Yvonne by Dorothy Tinker. So I have read the first book in this series. It's going to be a four book series but I think only three of them are out. This is a self-published series that is actually written by my cousin. Not my cousin Shannon who has a booktube channel but a different cousin. This is a YA fantasy series set in a pretty interesting world. The main character is an orphan and she has kind of been playing this Robin Hood type of character. She's kind of like a vigilante but most people don't know her true identity. She has been masquerading as a boy so it has that trope going on and she's also bonded with a dragon and a horse and can talk to both of them with her mind which I think is like one of the coolest parts of this book. The main reason I haven't gone further than the first book in this series is just that it's an unfinished series. I'm just waiting for the last book to come out and then I will probably reread the first one and then finish off the series. The next series I want to talk about is An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. This is going to be a four book series. There are three out and I've read the first two. This one I was really kind of waffling on whether or not to go ahead and pick up the third book soon, but I really think this would be a series that I would enjoy more if I could just binge all of them at once. The last book in this series is scheduled to come out in April 2020, but it's still untitled and it still doesn't have a cover, so I'm kind of hesitant that it's actually coming out in April. Once we have a cover and a title, and I feel more sure about the release date, then I think I want to go ahead and start the series over and read them closer together. This is a YA high fantasy series that's set in a pretty brutal world. The world takes inspiration from like Greek and Roman or maybe the Spartans, I guess. I have really, really enjoyed both of the books that I've read. The characters are fantastic. I was really digging the romance. The world is super interesting. It's brutal. There's more like gray characters. I really like a lot about the series and I'm very much looking forward to finishing it off. 
when the final book finally comes out. The next series I'm going to talk about is the My Lady Janies series. This isn't your traditional series. These are companion novels. They are all about a historical figure named Jane. They're like retellings or inspirations based on those characters. So the first one was My Lady Jane and it was about Lady Jane Grey, I think was her last name, who was queen for one day in England in a long time ago. <laughs> and then the second one was about Jane Eyre and that one had like a paranormal twist to it. It's kind of like Jane Eyre with Ghostbusters. And the first one had like talking animals, I think. So it was more like magical fantasy. Either way, I enjoyed both of those books. These books are written by three different authors. I didn't say that. It's Cynthia Hand, Jody Meadows, and Brody Ashton. The third one in the series is called My Calamity Jane, and it's set in 1876, coming out in May of 2020. This is one that I will probably read close to when it comes out because the stories aren't at all connected, so even if I don't remember details from the other books, it doesn't matter. I am very much looking forward to this. It's, you know, gonna be a Western setting, and I just love the sense of humor these ladies bring to these stories, and I've had so much fun reading this series. I don't know if there's only going to be three or if there's going to be more after that. There's nothing on Goodreads so far, but I hope that they keep the series going with as many famous Janes as there are. The next series I want to talk about is The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. It was originally a duology, but it is now going to be a trilogy. The third and final book has a cover and a title, The Nemesis, but no release date yet, so I'm not sure when it's coming out. I have only read the first book in the series, and honestly, I only gave it three stars. I was kind of on the fence about it and generally when I give the first book only three stars I decide not to continue on in the series. But I've had a few friends really enjoy the series, really enjoy the second book, so I've been kind of tempted to continue. So it is tentatively still on my currently reading list, but I am a little on the fence about it. So if you guys have read the series, let me know what you thought down in the comment section. This is a YA science fiction series, and the main character is something called a diabolic, which is a type of person that was created. So they're not really people. They're kind of like pre-programmed. I don't know if they're totally AI, but they were created with the purpose of protecting another person. I remember thinking that the world building in this book was interesting and that it had a really crazy ending and it was mostly the crazy ending that made me want to continue on in the series and see what happens next. Obviously at this point I don't remember a lot of details or what that crazy ending was, so I would have to restart the series if I wanted to finish it off. The next series on my list is The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. I read the first book in this series when it first came out in 2017 and I absolutely loved it. I gave it five stars. It was one of my favorite books from 2017. It's a YA fantasy, kind of like an urban fantasy but also historical fantasy because it's set during the 1920s or mostly during the 1920s. The main character is a girl who has the magical ability to manipulate time. So it's like magical time travel, which I absolutely loved, but it's also kind of like a con artist story. She has to go back into the 1920s to steal an item. I had so much fun reading the series. I don't think the series is talked about enough because it's really good. Well, I've only read the first book. The second book did come out in 2018 and I was going to pick it up, but then I heard that the final book, the third book, wasn't gonna come out until 2020. And because of that two year gap and it had already been a little while since I had read the first book, I decided to go ahead and just wait until the final book comes out and read all three of them at once because I definitely think this is a series that I would get more out of if I could read them close together. But this is one that I'm very excited to read because I love the first one so much. There were a lot of like twists and turns and I just, I love con stories. I love time travel, especially magical time travel. I just, I loved so much about this. I'm very antsy to finish the series and I'm dying for the last one to come out. The next series that I'm gonna talk about is another one that I'm very excited about and that is This Mortal Coil by Emily Suveda. The first book in the series, This Mortal Coil, was also one of my favorite books from 2017. This is actually a series that I'm caught up on. It is not 
paused in any way. I read the first one right when it came out, I read the second one right when it came out, or a couple months after it came out. And the third one is scheduled to come out in January of 2020. And I will be reading that one right away. This is a YA sci-fi dystopian. I love so much about this series. The books are really fast paced and lots of twists and turns. I would kind of call them sci-fi thrillers. I really love the science in this world. It is a mix of like genetics and computer programming, which I think is so cool. And the dystopian part of it is that this is set after there's been a disease outbreak and the disease in this world is so cool. It's kind of like a reverse zombie virus is how I like to describe it. But I just think these books are so much fun and I cannot wait to read the last book when it comes out in January. The next series I'm going to mention is the Legacy of Arisha series by Tomi Adeyemi. This is probably a series you've heard of before, but it is a YA high fantasy series that is based on African mythology. The first book is Children of Blood and Bone and I read it not too long after it came out. And while I didn't love it as much as a lot of other people here on booktube, I did enjoy it and I give it four stars. The second book hasn't come out yet. It's scheduled to come out in December of 2019. And this one I'm not sure if I want to read it as soon as it comes out or because it's going to be a trilogy if I want to wait until the trilogy is completed before finishing the series. Honestly, I think I'm leaning towards waiting until it's done. I remember really liking the world building and the magic in this world, but I didn't love all of the characters and some of their relationships. The next series is Lifelike by Jay Kristoff. I read the first book, Lifelike, when it came out in 2018, and I enjoyed this one. I gave it four stars. It's another YA sci-fi, and it was action-packed, full of humor, and it was also a little bit of a secret retelling, is how I usually describe it, because the story that it's a retelling of is kind of a spoiler, so like I can't really talk about it. I did have a lot of fun reading it, and I have planned to continue on in the series. The second book takes place from a different main character's point of view, and I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about that. But this is going to be a trilogy, and even though the second book came out a few months ago, the third book still doesn't have have a release date. So I think I'm just going to wait until the series is done before trying to tackle it. The next series on my list is the Nikolai duology by Lee Bardugo. This is going to be two books. I read the first book in like January of this year, right when it came out, and I absolutely loved it. I gave it five out of five stars. I will definitely be reading the second book as soon as it comes out. Luckily, it's just a duology, so I don't have to worry about books coming out after that. I am a fan of anything and everything Lee Bardugo, at least at this point, and I love Nikolai. I loved this book. I'm very much excited about reading the second book. I'm a little bit concerned because it's been almost a year since the first book came out and the second book is still untitled and has no release date and has no cover. So that's not very promising about it coming out soon. But whenever it does come out, I will definitely be reading that one right away. I guess I forgot to mention this is a YA fantasy. It is set in the Grisha world. And timeline wise, it takes place after the original Grisha series, as well as after the Six of Crows duology. And it includes characters from both of those series. The next series on my list is The Dark Shores by Elliot Brooks. This is an adult fantasy series and I'm honestly not sure how many books it's going to be. I feel like Elliot has said it's definitely not a trilogy. I want to say it's somewhere like planned to be four to six books but I'm not sure. <laughs> Anyways I read the first book when it came out and while I didn't love it as much as most people I thought it was okay. I gave it three stars. Honestly I am a little bit on the fence about continuing on in the series because like I said earlier, I have a general rule of thumb of not continuing on in series where I only give the first book three stars, just because in general, I find that when I continue on in series like that, I don't necessarily end up loving the rest of the series. But at the same time, I wanna be supportive and read my friend's book. So I'm definitely on the fence about this one, but I wanted to mention it because it is technically on my currently reading series list. The next series on my list is Something Dark and Holy by Emily Duncan. I read the first book in the series, Wicked Saints, earlier this year, and I 
enjoyed it. I gave it four stars and I'm definitely planning on continuing on in this series. In fact, I was able to snatch an ARC or an advanced reader copy of the second book, Ruthless Gods, when I went to BookNet Fest earlier this year. The sequel is planned to come out in April of 2020 and since I already have a copy of it, I will definitely be reading that one, hopefully before the actual release date. It does look like this is planned to be a trilogy. This is a YA high fantasy series that has a really interesting magic system, a really dark world, some morally great characters, some romance, a lot of things that I really enjoyed in the first book. The next series I want to talk about is the Stillhouse Lake series by Rachel Kane. I read the first book in the series, Stillhouse Lake, earlier this year. There are currently three books out in the series and another book coming out in 2020. This is an adult mystery thriller series, and I believe they all focus around the main character and her family, but like many mystery series, I don't feel like I necessarily have to read them super close together. I feel like this is a series that I can pick away at at my own pace. In the first book, though, the main character has moved to a lake house, a really quiet community, because she's trying to protect herself and her family because her husband or ex-husband was a serial killer. And because of that, her family has been targeted by a lot of hate and things. And so she's had to move around a lot and change their identities multiple times to stay hidden. I had a lot of fun reading the first book. I gave it four stars and I'm definitely planning to continue on in the series and see what happens to the main character and her family next. The next series on my list is the Kumio series by Kat Cho. I read the first book in the series earlier this year and I gave it four out of five stars. I had a lot of fun with that one. This is a YA urban fantasy that is actually set in Korea and based on Korean mythologies, which is one of the many reasons why I loved it so much. I'm not sure how many books are planned for the series in total, but as of right now, there is a second book on Goodreads that's coming out sometime in 2020. While I definitely plan to continue on in this series, depending on how many books there are going to be total, I'm not sure if I'll pick up the next one right away or if I'll wait for the series to be finished first. All right, guys, we only have three more left, almost at the end. The next series on my list is the Villains series by V.E. Swab. This is an adult... I don't know, urban fantasy? It's a superhero book. I never know how to classify those. Paranormal, maybe? <laughs> but the first book came out way back in 2013. I only read it last year. The first book was called Vicious, and the sequel is called Vengeful. I never got around to actually reading Vengeful, and now that I look on Goodreads, there's a third book planned for the series. I haven't really heard B.E. Swab talk too much about this third book, so... I'm not sure how real it is. If you guys have any info on it, let me know down in the comment section. I'm pretty on the fence about when to read the second book. I feel like I should read it soon while the first book is semi-fresh in my mind. I mean, it's been a year since I've read it at this point, but I feel like I remember enough of it that I could read the sequel, especially because the sequel came out many years after the first book. But if there's going to be a third one, then I kind of feel like I should just wait until that one's out and read them all in one go. I don't know. So this one I'm pretty on the fence about, but I think I would like to continue. I have heard a lot of people say that the second book was totally unnecessary and that they wish it hadn't been written. Some people really enjoyed the second book. I have no idea how I'll feel about it if or when I read it. Next on my list, I have The Expanse by James S.A. Corey. This was a new addition to my list. I just read the first book in September. This is an adult science fiction book. I really enjoyed the first one. Very excited to continue on in the series. This is a long series. I believe the ninth and what I think is the final book is coming out sometime in 2020. I do think there is a release date on Goodreads, but I've also been told that it's not necessarily a reliable release date. So I'm not sure exactly when this series will be finished, but because there are nine books in this series, I feel like I have a lot of time to get caught up. So I want to continue reading them at a reasonable pace because I don't want to have to start over reading the series at any point. So this one I am considering myself to be actively reading. And then the last series on my list is The Murderbot Diaries by Martha Wells, which is also a new add to my series list because I also read the first one in September. This is a series of novellas, or at least the first four are novellas. It's an adult science fiction about a murder bot, an AI who has hacked their own governor module and 
all they want to do is watch TV. I really enjoyed the first novella. Very much looking forward to reading the rest of the novellas. They kind of have a humorous touch to them, which I really appreciate. There are four novellas and then there's actually going to be a full length novel coming out in 2020. I'm excited to continue on in this series. I think I will be actively reading it. I'm thinking to kind of spread out the next three novellas between now and when the full length novel comes out. All right guys, so those are 16 more series that I am currently reading. This gets you fully caught up on all the series that I'm reading. I probably won't do an update on the series that I'm currently reading for at least another six months just because I don't feel like that much is going to change, but maybe I'm only going to do them like once a year. It'll kind of depend on how many series I finish and start in the next six months to a year. However, I do have plenty of other series related videos planned. I want to do some videos about series that I have completed, series that I've decided to DNF, and believe it or not, more series that I want to read. There are a lot of series on my want to read list that I have been putting off starting because I want to finish some of these 33 series that I'm currently reading. If you have read any of these series and think I should or shouldn't prioritize them, let me know that in the comment section. Otherwise, what are some of the series that you are currently reading? Do you know how many you're currently reading? Have you actually kept count? Because I bet it's a lot more than you think. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content. That is all I have for now. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bookworms, keep reading. Bye.